Secure Shell is a network communication protocol that enables two computers to communicate and share data. An inherent feature of SSH is that the communication between the two computers is encrypted, meaning that it is suitable for use on an insecure network. In this video, let us see how you can use your SSH key with PuTTY. The first step will be to download the private key. To set it up with PuTTY, log in to your Bluehost panel. From the menu, click on the Advanced tab to access your cPanel. And under the File section, click on File Manager. Here, we are trying to find the folder .ssh. By default, all dot .folder names are hidden. The first step to locate the .ssh folder will be to unhide all the dot .folders. Click on Settings and click the checkbox Show Hidden Files. This will show all the dot .folders. Now you can locate the .ssh folder. Once you open up the folder, you will find the key that you had generated. We need to download the file which doesn't have any extension. You can download it by just right-clicking the file and hitting Download. The SSH key we have downloaded is an open SSH key which is not compatible with PuTTY. We will need to convert the open SSH key into a PPK key. To do this, go to the PuTTY homepage. Download both PuTTY.exe, the SSH client, and PuTTYGen.exe, the PuTTY key generator, which will convert the SSH keys to a PPK file. Open up PuTTYGen and hit Run. On the top menu, you will see the Conversions tab. Open it and click on Import Key. Select the key that you want to convert and hit Open. Once the key is imported to PuTTYGen, you can change the key comment. Next, click on Save Private Key. You might see a pop-up as we have bypassed the password generation step. If you want to give it a password, you can. Next, you will save the key. Once the PPK key is generated, open up PuTTY. Enter your host name. You can use only your IP address or you can use your username and IP address for easier access. You can find your cPanel username on your cPanel within the General Information section under Current User. You will find your IP address in General Information as well. Open up PuTTY and under Host Name, put your username followed by at and your IP address. Enter the port number. Next, we will have to add the PPK file. In the menu on the left, Go to the SSH options and click on Auth. Click on the checkbox Allow Agent Forwarding and browse for the PPK file generated. Post this, go back to Sessions and save this session so that we do not have to repeat the entire process every time. Enter the name you want to save the session as and hit Save. Once it is saved, Every time you open PuTTY, just double click on the session and it will open up the terminal and you will automatically be logged in to your cPanel. With that, you can now use PuTTY to access cPanel.